What are you guys doing here? We're on our way to see Lucy. Is Luke around? We wanted to see if he wanted to come with us. No, actually, he, um, said he had some errands to run. Errands? Yeah. Let's see. These errands, do they have anything to do with Damien? Yeah. He, um, said he wanted to go hear Damien's side of the story. His side of his spin. Do you know where he went? No. I'm gonna call Damien. Why? If he knows that Luke's looking for him, what's he gonna do? This is what he's been wanting. He's going straight to voicemail. I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll uh, go over to the police station and talk to Margo. Maybe Margo or Lucy will know where Damien is. I hope so. I have a bad feeling about this, though. Listen to me, Luke. You have to go. Right now. Damien, if something's wrong, maybe I can help. Do you want to help? There's stuff following me around. I don't owe you any explanations. You got it? Go! Yeah. You're right. We don't owe each other anything. You Fredo? All right, enough pleasantries. The guns. You'll be able to get them down there onto the ship without being noticed. Good. You've used my ships before, haven't you? At least this time you'll be cut in. Benefit from it. Not likely. You made a big mistake trying to use me to smuggle your guns. Now, very slowly, put your hands up. this niece of yours that there is no way that she can possibly count on Damien getting her out of here. Grandmother, don't listen to her. Lucy, do you know where Damien is? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Why? Because Luke's gone looking for him. Oh, heavens, why is he doing that? Because he wants answers. Damien said he had some sort of plan to help you. Do you know what it is? No, I have no idea what he had in mind. Why can't anyone in your family stay out of police business? Because it's not just a police matter to Luke, it's personal. Oh, God. If Luke's going after Damien because of something that I did... Nobody's going after anybody. Now, darling, did you did you try to reach Luke at Noah? Both of their phones went straight to voicemail. Given the situation, you can understand our concern. Oh, I can certainly empathize. Margo, please, you something. have to do something. I don't want Luke to get into trouble because of some arrangement that I made with Damien months ago. That is not going to happen. Is it, Margo? Right. Lucinda, I'll see if I can track one or both of them down. If you do. And then I will let you know. Thank you. Yes. Noah, what are you doing? Luke, it's all right. I said drop the knife. Noah, give me the gun. Punk kid, you're not going to shoot I'm me. I'm warning you, drop it! They're dead! Noah, let me have it. Believe you. I kind of surprised myself there. I didn't know you knew how to shoot a gun. Growing up in the military bases with the colonel, every Saturday was reserved for target practice. <laughs> Sounds fun. Look, I don't mean to be ungrateful, but don't you think this little talent would have come in handy when we were being held captive by Zack and Zoe? Uh, maybe if we'd gotten hold of the gun. I guess this makes us even, huh? Now, do you understand why I didn't want you to be here? I didn't want you to get caught in the middle just in case something like this happened. Yeah, but what is all this? What the hell is going on here? This is the man you've been looking for. Margo. Hey, Fredo. Luke! Oh, oh. Thank God you're all right. Where were you? Why didn't you answer my calls? Mom, Mom, we're okay. Everything's fine, right? Everything's fine? We're not buying that. Tell us. Tell us what happened, for heaven's sake. Ah, uh, never mind. Why can't you leave my family alone? Dad, it's okay. I promised I would help Lucy. And and have you? Yes. How? Well, I knew the key to proving your innocence was finding Freda. 
And I did. How? Oh, well, I set up a meeting with him. The plan was to get Fred to admit what he'd done and then bring him here to clear your name. But before I could do that, he managed to jump me. Oh, my God, are you okay? Well, thanks to Luke and Noah, I'm alive. You were there? Damien, why did you involve him in this? No, he didn't. I didn't know what was happening. I just showed up. I'm glad he did, because he saved my life. And then Noah saved both Damien and I from Fredo. My God, thank you, Noah. Uh, so, uh, Damien, uh, you, you risked your life, you're telling us, and the life of these boys. And where is this notorious Fredo right now? With Margot. She's getting a confession out of him as we speak. Oh, my God, you mean it's over? <sighs> Margo, what's happening? Can you tell us anything? Oh, I can tell you many things. Despite what you two think, you are not cops. What you did was really stupid. And once again, you almost got yourselves killed. We know, and we are sorry. Mm -hmm. One more time, just one more time. I either lock you up or sign you up. Have I made myself clear? I speak for both of us. It will not happen again. And you, Damien, you, after all these years, you continue to take the law into your own hands. I helped create the situation, Margo. The only thing that mattered to me was finding Freda. And you still can't apologize. Uh, Margo, might one inquire, did you get a confession out of Fredo? Yes, we did. Lucy. You're free to go. Oh, thank you. You're so very welcome. Now, all of you, please get out of my station. Oh, look. Hey, I am really sorry that you're in danger because of something that I did. Oh, look. Now that it's all over, it's totally cool. Yeah, you're never going to let me forget it, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just can't believe that you and Damien were working together. Well, there's something you should know about that. The reason Damien agreed to help me is because of you, Luke. He wanted to show you that, that he changed. Yeah. I've heard that. It's true. When he was helping those people, he was really devoted to making their lives better. It meant something to him. And the hero just walks away. Oh, please, Holden, I don't want to fight with you today. You think because everything turned out okay that everyone can just look the other way? Excuse me? Once again, Damien, you put Luke in danger, terrible danger. Tell me, what's it going to take to get you out of his life for good? <laughs>